Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how I use this deep waiver that I shared in my April favorites. If you guys did miss that video, I'm gonna have that linked above and down below. So make sure to check that out because I have some really great products in there. A few of you asked me to do a video on how I use this tool, so that's what I'm gonna to do today. If this is something that you guys are interested in, then interested in, then just keep on watching. And if you are new, I just wanna introduce myself really quickly. My name is Lisa, and I do videos here every week on my channel. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and let's get started. Okay, so I did wash my hair yesterday. Normally what I will do is wear my hair straight the first time I wash it, and then the next day I will curl it. This way there's some texture, my hair is not too soft, and for my hair it's very, very fine, but I have a lot of it. But normally I don't like to curl my hair when it's freshly washed, just because my curls don't last that long. I don't like using product in my hair because I have a very oily scalp, so the less product I use, the better. But today, um, this is so this is like second day hair, I always like to go in with dry shampoo just around the root area, just to give me some added volume and just a little bit more texture and uh, to help the oils too. So this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in the Rose Gold. I just picked this up at Winners usually, it's $6.99. If I pick it up at other places here, it's around $9.99 to $15. So anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to just spray my roots first. Then I like to section off my hair. So I'm just gonna take about, I'm gonna go around the crown area and around the front to take about that much hair. And I like to just put that back. At this point, you can go ahead and use a heat setting spray. I don't, because I just don't like to add more product to my hair, but I did use the Kevin Murphy Young Again Oil. It looks like this. And I believe most of Kevin Murphy products do have like a heat protected in it. So anyways, um, so once I do that, I'm just gonna take like a section about, about this big. Not too big, but not too thin either. And there's two ways you can do it. You can use it where the flat side sits on top or you can do it this way. I like to do rotation because I feel like it gives like a different wave. So I'm going to just start off about right here. I don't go right to the root. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So I just hold that for, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. I don't like to hold, I don't like to hold it for too long with heat. So about there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and lift off and just bring it down. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's all you have to do. Um, on the end here, I don't, I like to leave a little bit out And that is the wave that you get. So I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very, very soft, very, very loose. It's not as deep as some other deep wavers. And I, I do really like that. So, so, and then I will grab another piece. That's a little bit too big. And I will reverse, reverse it. So I'll take the flat side up Clap it down, hold it there for about 10 seconds. And bring it down. It's very easy to do and it's so quick. So I'm just gonna leave a little bit out on the end there. I don't even know if I'm in frame here. And voila, I got another wave. So that's what it looks like. You can go ahead and use like hairspray if you wanna like set it to lock it in, but I don't because I just don't like to use a lot of product. Take off another little section and I'm gonna reverse it flat side down. And that's all there is to it, you guys. It is the easiest thing in the world, literally. 
and I get a lot of compliments every time I wear my hair like this. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up so that it's not too boring for you guys and I'll add some music. Point, what I would like to do is just kind of run it through with my fingers or you can take a really big like wide comb but I today I just I, I don't want to do that because it separates it a little bit more and oh you can do either or though so I'm just going to separate it with my fingers I think I'm just going to leave it just kind of off to the side and just do that messy look. Okay, so I do like this. And lastly, what I will do is use this L'Oreal Beachy Waves. This is a texturizing mist, and it looks like this. I did feature this in my April Favorites as well. I don't like to spray this directly into my hair, so I'll just take it on the back of my hand. So I'll just spray that. And then I'll just run it through my hair. This helps with like flyaways. It just adds a little bit more texture to the curl, make it a little bit more defined. Just gonna add a little bit more. And that is it guys, it is that easy. This tool just does all the work for you. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes in real time, just depending on how big of a section that I take. I will say at first it was a little bit awkward to use just because it is so big and so wide, but after a few times using this, I got used to it. I will have this tool linked down below for you guys, so make sure to check it out. I hope this video was helpful. If you are new, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you subscribe. I would love to have you here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.